beyond Forest Hills Boulevard, bordering Lakeview Cemetery, sits a remarkable piece of land with an intriguing past. It was a beautiful home. A four story mansion, which mysteriously burned down December 17th, 1917. Not just any house, but the summer home and 700 acre Lakeview estate of Cleveland native and oil baron John D. Rockefeller. It would have been a beautiful area. He could look out over almost the entire area of Cleveland. A staunch family man, Rockefeller dubbed it the homestead and returned here each year after moving to New York in 1884 to expand his oil empire. Created lakes, created a golf course. It was summer for him. The cause of the blaze was never determined, but appeared incendiary in origin, according to the New York Times. Now, nearly 100 years later, archaeologists hope to unearth the truth. We had um, ground penetrating radar done to a great amount of the site that we're looking at now. On the surface, it appears the house is entirely gone. But right after it burned to the ground, it was quickly covered with soil. Archaeologists believe that beneath this green field lie any number of historical treasures. A piece of glass. And then show them some of the roof stuff. So far, only old nails and building fragments have been recovered, but the team hopes to find toys, silverware, or dinnerware. It'll tell us more about how he lived his life privately. The richest man in the world, says researcher Mallory Haas, in a city that was on its way up. It was a small time period of Cleveland, but it was so grand. It, it would have been bustling. The Western Reserve Historical Society's Dr. John Grabowski says their extensive archives reveal. He was largely focused on, on his own industry and enterprise. Uh, but he did have an affinity for Cleveland. His philanthropy is still seen today, especially the parks where people can enjoy the same land, lake and maybe a little luck from Cleveland's favorite son. So he gave out dimes on the street to people. And uh, when he was doing that, that, you know, like two, three, four, five dollars, that was a, that could take you someplace. So why would anyone burn down his house? Could Rockefeller have had it destroyed? In his will, he had the family's Euclid Avenue mansion torn down upon his death because he didn't want it to become a flop house. In fact, many of his former neighbors did the same. When you go down Euclid Avenue, and I see all of those homes are the ones that are left. And you think the entire street was filled with these mansions. So many of them are gone now. Another theory on the Forest Hill fire involves a squabble between Rockefeller and local leaders over taxes. And the idea came up, well, why not get rid of them all together? The dispute occurred in 1914 when Rockefeller's wife Laura fell ill and the family stayed in Cleveland long enough to qualify as residents. The county government immediately saw the goose laying the golden egg and they approached him for $2.5 million in taxes. Rockefeller won the battle, but after his wife Laura died, he rarely returned to the homestead. It's, it's a sad story and it's, it's, it's a loss for Cleveland, you know. The last recorded visit is October 10th, 1917, two months before the fire. He never comes back, but he did decide to be buried in the city. Laid to rest in 1937 in Lakeview Cemetery at the age of 98. Still overlooking Cleveland and now the excavation site of his beloved summer home, where researchers hope to solve the mystery of the fire and more importantly, the man. People really get interested in history when it can be dug up. And you know, what better person than John D. Rockefeller? In Cleveland, Suzanne Stratford, Fox 8 News.